Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Nagishra, student professor, Department of Civil Engineering from Nala Nasma Reddy Education Society, and Group of Institution, Hyderabad, Telangana. Guys, today we will discuss one topic in Transportation Engineering of Second Unit, that is Highway Geometric Design. So this is Highway Geometric Design. Past few days we are discussing some other topic topics from the unit and we will discuss today one topic that is side distance at a intersection so this is another important topic in stopping distance this is another important topic in side distances already we have discussed the ssd stopping side distance and osd or taking side distance and this is the third one side distance at the intersection so the side distance needed by the driver of a vehicle to see another vehicle approaching the intersection reacts and applying the brakes to bring his vehicle to stop at the intersection without any collision Accident is called a side distance. So, guys, so when we are traveling on a road at a junction area, junction area means we have meeting four roads at that particular point. We can say that is a junction. So, from one place we are coming at that uh, junction. If there is no any kind of the um, traffic signals or whatever it may be. So at that time it is very difficult to reach. Why? Because when we are coming with a certain speed towards the junction from one lane, but at the same time another vehicle coming from other lane at that junction, if we cannot see that another vehicle, then what happened? It leads to accident. So, but at at this condition we need to maintain some stopping side distance some side distances at the intersection when another vehicle is approaching the intersection so we need to react and apply the or brakes without any policy. so the sight line is obstructed by the structure or other objects at the corners of the intersection the area of Unobstructed sight formed by the line of vision is called sight distance. So we have diagram is there here. You can see. So when we are moving from B to C towards, if another vehicle is coming A to C at the junction point, if we are we, if we cannot see this uh, A this another vehicle's distance or another vehicle. So we are traveling BC direction, another car is coming AC direction. If we can see at that point, then what happened? Automatically these two are accident at that point. So there is a line of sight line is there. So we need to observe remaining three sides of three sides if any vehicle is coming or not. So we need to maintain this kind of the uh, information. So then here the design of sight distance at intersection may be based on three possible condition and this condition is sufficient to the safety and this condition is first one is a unable vehicle to change its speed to unable vehicle to stop to unable stopped vehicles to cross the main road so guys we will discuss one by one we have three points is there here so first point to enable vehicle to change its speed the side distance should be sufficient to enable either one or both approaching vehicle to change speed to avoid collision so guys when we are reaching at the junction point we need to maintain sufficient side distance for both the vehicle 
that is a very important point we need to maintain over there. Why? Because at junction zone there is a very rush and traffic. Some of the candidates they are not maintained and they are not maintaining the rules and regulations. So that's why that is a append. So we need to maintain sufficient high distances. And the vehicle approaching from the minor road should slow down. So when we are coming for, for example, there is a national highway at the junction. Some of the vehicle coming from uh, minor roads to major roads. At that time, we need to maintain the speed limit. Why? Because on highway, there is a maximum speed limit is there. So vehicle coming with a uh, huge speed. At that same time, when we are entering from minor to major, if we are maintain same huge speed, then what happen automatically it will be affected. So we need to uh, we need to require line of sight for that thing. So then only you can going clearly. The total reaction time is required for the driver to decide to change speed may be assumed as two seconds, and at least one more second will be needed for making the change in speed. Yes. So, within the blinking of eyes, it may happen something. So, we need to alert and we need to skill of the driver and reaction time. So, everything we need to maintain at that particular time. So, time is a very spacious over there. Why? Because our speed is maximum at that time. So, we can control the vehicle within few seconds, 2.5 seconds. From 2 to 2.5 seconds is the reaction time for the driver. So that's why the skill of the driver is the very important uh, thing here. Hence, the two sides, AC and DC, the two sides AC and DC of the side triangle along the intersection approaches up to the conflict point C should be at least equal to the distance covered by the vehicle traveling the design speed in two circuits. And coming to the second point is enabling approach the vehicle to stop. So here the distance for the approaching vehicle should be sufficient to bring either one or both of the vehicle to stop before reaching a point of approach. Yeah guys here so when we are coming, uh, when you are traveling towards the junction point, so if collision may going to happen over there, at that time also we need to require sufficient, uh, sufficient place we need to require for overcome the or avoid the collision at that time. Here. The two sides AC and BC of the side triangle should each be equal to the safe stopping distance. Almost all uncontrolled intersections, one of the two crossroads is preference a highway or a through road or a major road. And here another point guys. The traffic of the minor road is generally controlled by an appropriate traffic sign. Yeah, that is the point here. In such case, the side distance of a minor road should be at least equal to the SSD for the design speed of the road. So when general controlled by the appro appropriate traffic sign at that time, the minor road Traffic side distance, minor road, uh, what is that road should be at least equal of the SSD, an appropriate uh, approaching time. And the side distance is requirement of stopping is higher than that of condition. One is above, hence it is the safe as vehicle can be stopped. At that time only you can stop it uh, accurately, then we can overcome all kind of the uh, Effects we can overcome all kind of the effects, otherwise, will be affected. And, guys, next coming to the another one is the enabling stopping vehicle 
to cross a main road. In this case, applicable when the vehicle entering the intersection from the minor road and controlled by stop sign. And so these vehicles have to stop and then proceed to cross the main. Yeah. So we should stop at that particular point when we are traveling on the road. There is a junction is there in between. So we are moving away from the junction. So then what happened? We we need to stop over there. So after uh, after that we need to move from that point. The time t is required for the stopping vehicle to cross main road would depend upon a reaction time of the driver, b width of the main road, c acceleration, and d is length of the vehicle. Thus, the minimum side distance to fulfill the condition is the distance traveled by a vehicle on the main road at a design speed during this time capital. Yeah, that is it. From safety consideration, the side distance at uncontrolled intersection should therefore fulfill, fulfill all the above three conditions. So we need to require all the above three conditions. The higher of the three value may be taken at unsignalized intersection at grade except at rotaries. So rotary is place we need to stop at that particular point and at a grade intersection also we need to stop the vehicle and uh, we need to move here third condition is uh, applicable but some case here the grade uh, grade separate intersection is there so we cannot stop over there why because when we are moving on a vehicle when we are moving on a road what happened we are not entering towards the junction so here is a grade separate grade separate intersection we cannot stop at the junction who are moving separately, but if it is at grade intersection, we need to stop at that particular point after releasing the uh, signal. Then we need to move. The IRC recommends that at uncontrolled intersection, sufficient visibility should be provided such that the side distance of each road is at least equal to the SSD corresponding to the design speed of the road. So IRC recommended here, if there is uncontrolled intersection is there, uncontrolled intersection is there. So at that place we need to require sufficient visibility. And guys here every road should be equal to, stopping distance of every road should equal to SSD. So having said distance of SSD what we are required according to the design speed we need to maintain here every side distance of the road. That is the point, this is recommended by the IRC. If the site tra triangle available is less than the desirable minimum size due to the unavoidable reasons. And at the rotaries, the site distance should be at least equal to the safe stopping distance for the design speed of the rotary. At the signalized intersection, the above three requirements are not applicable. That, that is the point. And rotary in the sense we cannot stop over there, but there is an island. We are moving to from that uh, around the uh, island that is the rotary junction. And here the at the priority intersection, where a minor road crosses a major road. The traffic on the minor road may be controlled by stop or given way sign to give the priority to the traffic on the major road. Yeah, this is also very important. So there is a intersection is there. Uh, there is a national highway is moving at that particular point because that there is a minor road is there. So we need to control the traffic on minor road only, not for the major road. Why? Because vehicle moving very fastly, there is a national line. We can control this traffic uh, on uh, minor road. That is, uh, we need to maintain that point. And the visibility distance available 
along the minor road should be sufficient to enable the driver stop there to yeah, here also same like the point guys this is a very uh, important point and there is the uh, most of the accident is uh, going on like this one so when major road on the major road uh, vehicles traveling with a huge speed then what happened there is no line of uh, sight from major roads to the minor roads so some of the vehicle entering suddenly on the major road then what happened the, uh, uh, which vehicle is traveling on the major road there is no reaction time to control the brake if we are applying the brake over there but vehicle is not controlled skidding or everything is happened at that time accident is maximum is done so we need to uh, maintain uh, side distance, line of side distance from major to the minor of eyesight of the two drivers over there. This is a very important point and most of the cases uh, happening like this one, the accidents. The IRC recommends that a minimum visibility distance of 15 meter along the main road and a distance of 220, 180, 145 and 100 meter along the major. And the corresponding to the design speed of 180, 65, 50 km per Major road to major road to minor road visibility is given, guys. Here depends upon the speed, and uh, there is a stopping side distance. So, for example, 100 kmph is there, that is 120, and uh, 100 kmph is there, and uh, 220 is there here, and 80 kmph is there, that is the 80 is there, 180 is there. And here 60 kmph value is there, then here distance is 145, and here 50 is there, that is 110 distance is required according to the recommendations. So, from major to minor. So, when we are traveling on major road, it is 100 kmph, so we need to maintain the distance of 220 for the minor road at that place. This is the information, guys. Thank you.